Wayne Stewart was a man of great character, whose passion for the game was matched only by his enthusiasm for life and the love of his family. After winning the Bay Hill Invitational in 1987, Stewart donated his $108,000 winner's check to a local area hospital in the memory of his father, beginning a personal commitment to supporting the game's heritage of giving back to those in need. Stewart would go on to claim back-to-back -back victories at the MCI Heritage Classic in 1989 and 1990, and won his first of three major championships at the 1989 PGA Championship, rallying from a five-stroke deficit. Two years later, Stewart won his second major in a playoff against Scott Simpson at the U.S. Open. 1999 was a year of both glory and tragedy. After an early season win at the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am, Stewart carried that momentum into the U.S. Open in June, capturing his third and final major championship, a crowning moment defined by what transpired after his 15-foot winning putt. In the aftermath of a Father's Day victory, Stewart turned his attention toward his defeated opponent, Phil Mickelson, offering words of encouragement on the impending birth of the Mickelson's first child. The victory at Pinehurst earned Payne Stewart a spot on the Ryder Cup team. In representing his country for the fifth time, Stewart exhibited the true essence of sportsmanship, graciously conceding his singles match to Colin Montgomery after the U.S. had secured the cup. October 25th brought the devastating news that Payne Stewart's private plane crashed in South Dakota. Tragically, Stewart lost his life and the golfing world lost one of its most iconic figures. In a storied career that was tragically cut short, Payne Stewart collected 11 PGA Tour victories, including three major championships and was a five-time member of the U.S. Ryder Cup team. With his signature style of plus fours and TAM, Payne Stewart was one of the most recognizable figures in PGA Tour history, leaving a legacy of grace, respect, and class for future players and spectators to follow throughout the world of golf. More than his 11 PGA Tour victories and three major championships, the late Payne Stewart's contributions to the game are measured in more enduring ways. In his memory, the Payne Stewart Award was created, presented each year at the Tour Championship to a player sharing Stewart's respect for the traditions of the game, his commitment to charitable support, along with his exemplary presentation of himself and the game. The first recipients of the Payne Stewart Award were legends in the sport. Byron Nelson, Arnold Palmer, and Jack Nicklaus were honored in 2000 at the Tour Championship presented by Coca-Cola. Payne Stewart devoted himself to his family, to his church, to his hospital, and to golf. And if there's one thing I urge every player, every golfer in the world, it is to protect the high standards that have been established by those who have preceded us in this game. Ben Crenshaw received the award in 2001. Known for his love of the sport and its history, Crenshaw accepted his award with humility. I can tell you that the things that make him live on are the right things in golf. And any association that I have with Payne Stewart's name makes me very, very happy. Nick Price, who is compassionate and respectful to everyone he encounters, accepted the award honoring his friend's memory in 2002. It's a game of life, and if you have a look at the way integrity of the players that we have today, the honesty, the sportsmanship, all these values that Payne, who was a really close friend of mine, he had, uh, it, it makes me feel very honored to be standing here today. Tom Watson was named recipient of the award in 2003. Watson upholds Payne's heritage of charitable support by helping to further junior golf programs in Missouri. And I remember very, very succinctly, he gave $180,000 first prize to the Cancer Society in the name of his dad. And that's, that defined Payne to me. 
Jay Haas, who mirrors Stewart's commitment not only to the game and charitable giving, but also to family, accepted the award in 2004. Two things struck me about Payne right there. Number one, how competitive he was, how, how driven he was, and how he was just trying to save that shot, how he was trying to do everything in his power to succeed. And also, the second thing I think was how natural he was. How, uh, that was just pain. He was just being himself. And that, uh, to me, is the embodiment of this award. Brad Faxon received the award in 2005. Faxon founded and operates the CVS Caremark Charity Classic with fellow PGA Tour player Billy Andrade. The tournament has raised several million dollars for charity since its inception in 1999. This is my finest hour. This is unbelievable. I, I can't say how thankful I am, how humbled this award makes me. And, and I hope that every, every young guy on the PGA Tour tries to win the Payne Stewart Award. We'll be, we'll be way better off. Gary Player accepted the award in 2006. Player has been a champion for improving the quality of education for underprivileged children in his home country of South Africa and throughout the world. When you hang your clubs up one day, money is not the criteria that you judge golfers with. Money is not the criteria to say, am I happy? You're gonna look back and say, did I influence the world in just a small way? Doesn't matter how big, just a small way. And you look and you see this man, Payne Stewart, who was one hell of a man, and I look at that and say, man, am I pleased I played golf. Hal Sutton received the Payne Stewart Award in 2007. In 2006, he helped fill the gap in children's health care in his hometown of Shreveport, Louisiana, by opening the Sutton Children's Hospital. Nothing is bigger than the game of golf. No one person is bigger than the game of golf. Don't be so self-serving. Think about others as you walk through life, because somewhere along the way, you're going to need them and you hope that they're gonna be there for you. I'm proud to be part of golf, and I'm proud to be here today. Thank you.